Well, fellas, <laughs> how was I supposed to focus on the rest of the direct after that? Come on, Nintendo, no. Nintendo, yes. <laughs> Dude, dude, we got side order. We got side order. I thought they were just gonna drop on us a little random, you know, splat a ween, splat fest. Maybe do like a trick versus treat versus uh, TP. Yeah, that's not actually what I want. Don't worry. The new duelies. Can we, can we wear them in real matches when we finish the DLC? They're gonna look so out of place. It's so funny. Oh my God, they're just, there's just so much. They gave us two minutes, but they packed every little bit of those two minutes with so many visuals. Pearl's little silly robot droid thing that she's got running around. Maybe because she's too busy, you know, looking for her girl. Where is Marina? Where is Marina? Please. She doesn't have to be the villain, Nintendo. You know, maybe she's just having a little too much fun making everything um, black and white and red, and she doesn't realize how bad it is. Ah, ha, 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 Dude, Pearl's a little robot though with the funny crown. Of course it jumps, a little crown like moves too. How does that stay on? How does it stay on? Am I, do we not get to find out? Do I, do I, am I just overlooking it? Absolutely, I am looking into it too much, but I'm going to. I love that like it has like, <laughs> It has like little knobs that are like her little eyes slash eyebrows. Love that. Love that. The whole game is literally just a roguelike, kind of. I I'm assuming on the first run or whatever that you like have a story that you're following. It's nice to see that they're moving away from what they were doing with Octo Expansion because they kind of took the idea of Octo Expansion, right? And they kind of shoved that in as the Splatoon 1 story mode. It's nice to see something different because they could have easily been like, oh, more disjointed levels in space coming right up. But this time it's levels in space, but it's also kind of accidentally more like number-based salmon run. <laughs> And I mean, I, I, I do enjoy a bit of Salmon Run. Have I gotten to nines? No, but have I played like 3,000 ships almost? Y yeah. <laughs> dude, 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 dude. If you could have like numbers on the screen like that and be able to keep track of your score as you go, if there's like a total or anything at the end of the whole thing, you could have like races against your friends. You could have races on stream to see who could like do the best. Do you realize how fun that would be for like community competitions? Also bragging rights that your score is like super duper high. Listen, I'm a little math loser and it's just fun to me, okay? <laughs> you could also do all kinds of stuff, like trying to beat it with as few different upgrades as possible and see if you get overwhelmed. I'm kind of curious how bad like our new and improved question mark hero duelies will be, you know? We're the only bit of color in a big black and white and red canvas. <laughs> I, I guess that's why we don't ever get black ink, huh? These fellas in the Spyro order, we're hogging it all. Share. Obviously, for us to get our hands on that glorious black ink, we gotta go fight the creature. <laughs> What is that thing at the end? I feel like if they're showing it off at like the end of the direct That they have to show it at like an early part of the game Nintendo tends to be pretty good when it comes to Splatoon stuff and not spoiling like the end game of a particular DLC before it happens like with side order not side or sorry with um the other one with Octo Expansion I'm, my brain my brain is just side order pills <laughs> With Octo Expansion, all we got was like, T telephone, here's telephone guy. Here's a bunch of stuff that happens in quick succession. Okay, bye, DLC tomorrow. This time we got like two minutes and we got like a whole bunch. We still got like everything like flipped up at us really quick. All of our cool new gear upgrades to make us look all futuristic and all that jazz. Listen, they had to go all out. You know, Team Order might have lost the Splatfest. They won in my heart. Team Order might have lost the Splatfest, but we're winning in the DLC. I really do wonder now what the DLC would look like if it was the other way around. There's very little to no Order content, like, at all. 
in the art book, if I remember correctly, either. So they were really working on this. Man, oh man. <laughs> I'm just excited for where it goes, man. There's also free banners related to the DLC now that you can get soon. I, I don't know if this update is out at the time this video is coming out, but uh, the same way you got the Callie and Marie banners for the first wave, they're shoehorning in a version 5.0.1, and bada bing bada boom, there's gonna be Pearl Marina banners! Woo! That way you can stare at your girls, neither of which are actually in the DLC, when you think about it, you've got Pearl's little droid, drone, thing, and Marina is just, um, she's just away. <laughs> oh, oh, I, I love Splatoon, man. Originally, Splatoon 2 related gear was slated to come out during this season, attorning to, uh, you know, like, according to some internal data in the game, but it, it did get pushed back, so it makes sense that they're giving us the Pearl and the Marina banner now. Yay. I'm just... <laughs> I'm just stupid excited, man. The music is so good, and we only heard like the tiniest snippet. Can we put it all in the jukebox like as soon as the DLC comes out, please? Oh my god, what if what if you can only use it in the jukebox if you bought the DLC? Oh, okay. Luckily, I, I mean, I have it, so it, it's, it's fine. But <laughs> it'd be a fun way to share it with your friends who maybe don't have access to it. Hooray! Speaking of music, also, I like said her name once, but oh my god, Deadfish? Oh my god, Deadfish, hi? It's been, it's been eons? Madame Octo Expansion Deadfish? Just, just here? Hello? <laughs> I hope there's like a whole bunch of music that's kind of in her vibe. Like the music that we had from Octo Expansion. That'd be, that'd be great. I wonder if like, maybe we'll get her music at like the end game. Ooh, can she be involved with like the end game cutscenes like Octo Expansion style? Dude, we already saw in that little tiny snippet that there are 16 floors minimum? I wonder how how high do we go? Can we have a gimmick? Can it be like 88? <laughs> Is it unlimited? Were we bamboozled in that trailer and it's like 20? <laughs> Oh, I want to know. But that's the thing, though, is they're going to keep it away until we get really close. I kind of hope they don't tell us. I want to figure it out on my own when it comes to, like, me streaming it. Ooh. It's just so exciting to know there's, like, something fun like that on the horizon. It makes also, you know, waiting for it really enjoyable because we know that Splatoon 3 is still in the midst of getting updates. And then we're going to get clocked over the head with this in, like, six months you know it makes sense it makes sense that we get side order a year after the best update to grace splatoon 3 <laughs> the one the only the pools isn't it crazy to think about the fact that pools have only been in splatoon 3 at the time of side order's announcement for like half of the game going on oh my god oh my god you know i just oh oh there's dude there's so much it's, it's a good game tell me what you're most excited for like in the comments and subscribe because you know that we're gonna be yelling about this in the future <laughs> oh my i'm dude dude I can't, I can't believe they're doing like the roguelike style of here pick your upgrades pick them wisely <laughs> i'm so hype i'm so hype I, like you could do so much stuff like maybe only picking like main saver and just having the world's greatest never running out gun but everything else about your stats just kind of sucks <laughs> that would be fun or you could do the opposite you could make yourself like a god in every other way but oopsie doopsie your gun does barely anything Woo! i like that they have an option for letting the droid do various stuff like drop bombs so if you wanted to make it like harder for yourself you could opt to not just ever buy that upgrade there's like a level of difficulty that you can choose to add on which is a lot of fun i'd probably just play it the first time through without really truly thinking too hard on what i'm adding and then it'd be fun to go back and like try it with different thoughts and different plans on future runs Ooh, ooh! i hope you're excited i'm losing my mind i'm gonna spend like 200 dollars on mario game remakes in the meantime <laughs> Let's go! Happy side order, fellas!